It's September. And where is she? Well, unfortunately, I'm still here in California, not in Lucca, Italy, where my heart is, especially in sweet September. Love that town and wish I could be there to enjoy the sights, the people, and of course, the foods. A glass of red wine is always nice, but so is a glass of Aperol Spritz with family and great friends. There's not too many things in the world I enjoy more than biscotti and sweet wines. Of course, I could be there with my fellow sisters, uh, the Daughters of Italy, visiting Santa Gemma's monastery there. And look who is right there behind her, Volta Santo. A procession in Lucca on September 13th is held to honor this eight foot tall wooden crucifix, the holy face of Luca. I've been fortunate to be a member of an organization that includes people from Luca that come to celebrate this procession. Groups from around the world, whether it's Australia, Canada, Bangkok, come there because they care. The days are filled with a lot of activities. Small towns come to compete in medieval flag throwing. Young ladies greet each other and enjoy the sightseeing. Preparations are made for the evening. The lights will dim, candles are lit, crowds gather, and the procession is about to begin. According to the legend, the holy face of Luca had been sculptured by a divine hand and remained hidden for centuries before an Italian bishop discovered it on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land in the 8th century. The crucifix was put on a ship with no crew and miraculously set sail to the Tuscan coast, where an angel helped guide the relic to its final home in the cathedral in Lucca. Ancient tapestries and memorabilia that are treasures from small churches in the area are used during the procession. The actual cross, the wooden cross, is not used and so a floral cross is representative and used during the wonderful procession. Procession is a very solemn occasion. I didn't realize that the first time. No one traded pins or hats with me. It's a very religious orientated event. But we still manage to have some fun, especially when you're with a group from South Range take a close look. It is pretty impressive to know though that for 12 centuries untold number of pilgrims had come to pray, to touch, to cry, and to rejoice in front of this 
image. Legend has it that the crucifix has been carved by Nicodemus. Radiocarbon dating indicates that this cross, the wood, comes from the end of the 7th century and the middle of the 9th. It is impressive also to note that the miraculous thing is that it's managed to survive to our days.